This is the Carbon Hand. Uh, it is made by BioServo in Sweden and is for anybody with impaired hand function and weak grip. Carolyn Jones from Anatomical Concepts gives NR Times a run through of how Carbon Hand works as an assistive device. You can use the Carbon Hand both in rehabilitation settings or as an assistive device. So it was made to be an assistive device, but we've discovered through research and working with clinicians that it has a massive positive rehabilitation effects as well. So what our clinicians are doing in rehab settings is integrating the carbon hand with other functional arm exercises, making them more applicable to daily life. So for example, if I'm working on arm raises, perhaps with a cable machine or with pulleys, it can be a little bit mm, tricky to understand what you might want to use arm raises for if you're not functionally using your hand. But if I'm adding in a pulley grip or if I'm asking someone to grip a cup, then suddenly this movement becomes a lot more functional and is way more motivating for an individual to perform. Um, the other side of using it in, in rehab is that we know over time, with consistent use, we're able to improve the grip strength and endurance of those individuals as well. That's how Carbon Hand can help as an assistive device but how can it help with rehabilitation? The Carbon Hand can hugely support people with impaired grip by improving their grip strength and their grip endurance in everyday tasks. So whether that's uh, holding a spoon to uh, prepare dinner or lifting a mug, watering plants in the garden or doing more challenging things that perhaps you wouldn't think were possible anymore. So we've got mechanics working with them, going back to work, uh, working as chefs, and really challenging what they can do and support with the extra power and endurance from the carbon hand. We asked Carolyn who anatomical concepts would like to have a hands-on experience with carbon hand in a professional setting. We would really like to let all physios and OTs to at least experience what it's like to use the carbon hand. Because me telling you about it is one thing, but actually experiencing it is another. And once you get it into your hands and start doing functional tasks, you suddenly see how that can apply to a lot of your clients, both in a rehab setting, but also for those who might want to use it as an assistive device. For case managers um, and lawyers as well, this is an excellent piece of kit. It's incredible the life changes you can make and the improvements you can make for a person if you're able to give them access to a device like the Carbon Hand. And I'd really like to talk to any of them who want to try it, want to connect with clinicians and to support trials for their clients too. The Carbon Hand can be set up with one hand and it's ergonomically designed to be used on the go to allow its user to really grasp back their sense of independence. So at the moment we've got three profiles and they're indicated on the glove by a colour. And the reason you might want different profiles is for different tasks. Or over the day someone might fatigue a little bit more. Um, you're going to need a lot more help using a hammer mm -hmm. than you are using a feather duster. Yeah. So we're just adjusting it for that. Uh, things like sports are particularly popular. So the way in which you grasp, release, um, have uh, endurance while playing golf, perhaps, is a lot different to doing tasks in the garden. You see on my app here, I've got three settings. Mm -hmm. This first one, represented by the magnet, is um, sort of, uh, how would I put it? Not quite magnetism, but how quickly the grip is going to initiate when you start that movement. Mm -hmm. So for some things you might want to put a lot of intention behind it before it, it starts grabbing. But quite a lot of the time you want it to be like, oh, yeah. super rapid. Uh, this is force. So this is the amount of strength, grip strength, that it's going to place on the object behind it. Okay. And as you find, if you intentionally squeeze a little bit more, it will amplify that again. So it's always going to do it um, in line with what you are giving it. What your intention How much is. force can it maximum like maximum force? Would it smash shut it in my hand? No. Right. No. So right. <laughs> it won't, won't get that far. Right. There are industrial versions, but even those won't do that. Right. So <laughs> there is a, there's definitely a safety point there. Um, and then this little sellotape is stickiness. 
So we're also looking at how easy it is to release the grip. Yeah. So again, things like a hammer, you don't necessarily want your grip to release really fast because that could potentially be dangerous. Yeah. Um, so we want to have a higher level of stickiness so there's greater intention to release and we have a safer, um, safer placing down of the object. You see your glove here, you've got sensors in each of the fingertips and then the MCP joint here. And what these finger, finger sensors are going to do is they're going to measure how much pressure you're putting on an object, so your intention to lift something. And see this little blue thread around here? Mm -hmm. Inside the blue thread is what we call tendons. And they're attached to motors that run all the way through here into this pack. This pack attaches beautifully with a little magnet. Just like that. And these motors are pulled inside of here to allow the hand to grasp. Um, and then release. So it doesn't okay. help to open the hand, it only helps to, to close it and then some endurance. And this is all made for one handed use as well. Mm -hmm. So inside here is your motors and your battery. And I know you're already thinking, why those three fingers? <laughs> why not a full glove? So if we had to do all five fingers, then we'd have to have another two motors and okay. even more battery power so it becomes less usable for an individual to have as a device around the house. Yeah. So that's one practical reason. Also if you think about when you've got your hand fully covered, you lose some of the sensory ability, you lose some of the touch, you lose that feeling to kind of catch hot surfaces and people really want to have that. Yeah. It's one of the big reasons that we might reach out or release something. Um, so this I've got little straps you can attach it either around the waist like a bum bag, yeah. uh, on your back like a backpack mm -hmm. and over the shoulders like super casual, um, or you can hang it on the back of a wheelchair. As you can see this man is clearly struggling to grasp the glass and the bowl. Wait till you see his reaction when he tries the carbon hand. So that was the carbon hand. Many thanks to Carolyn Jones and Anatomical Concepts for visiting us and giving us the opportunity to try it out. If you'd like to visit us and showcase your products, be sure to get in touch. All the details you need are in the description below.